I finally got my hands on frosted coconut snowball and I told you guys I will get it only if it comes in a full bottle. Hello my peaches, what's up? I am Pratha and welcome to today's video. We are going to talk about two things. One is frosted coconut snowball of course and the second thing that we are going to talk about is the semi-annual sale which was announced last night. I will not waste even a single second now and let's quickly get into this video and roll the intro. Let's start with talking about frosted coconut snowball because this is the highlight of the video, of course. I have to tell you this, that I tried it last year and I tried only the body cream and I liked it a lot. It was literally coming off as a coconut Indian sweet to my nose back then when I tried it on my skin, the body cream. But the things have changed a little. Either the formulation have changed or it is the difference between the body mist and the body cream. So let's start by reading out the notes on it. It has the notes of frosted coconut, whipped vanilla, sugar crystals, winter freesia, snow kissed woods. It's a beautiful escape into the sparkling winter wonderland as each snowflake gently falls. Beautiful explanation, but let's get into what it actually smells like. So to my nose, this definitely comes off as a soft coconut fragrance like this. The coconut has a cold, icy feel to it for some reason. So it does come off like that. Along with the whipped vanilla, I can very prominently smell the vanilla mixing in with that cold coconut note in here. And then later on, the winter freesia takes over. And what I feel about this fragrance is that I no more smell that sweet like quality to it or it was literally smelling like Nariel ka laddu to me last year. But now, right now, now that I have it, I want to spray it one more time. It is smelling like, I'll be very honest with you, right in the first spray, it's kind of smelling like a hint of gingham, the original gingham, but with a coconut note to it. Like a cold, icy coconut note to it. The vanilla is there, cold, frosted coconut is there, and that winter freesia is very much giving it a gingham-like feel in the background, not taking the forefront. It just takes the forefront for a few seconds, but then later on, it sits into this coconutty vanillic fragrance, which is very soft and very winter-appropriate and quite coconutty and vanillic at the same time. It is coming off as a similar fragrance to my nose, like that of Shirosa. 39 from Sol de Janeiro. What I say about this fragrance is that it's nice. The coconut is creamy. Lean is really beautifully taking over, but the orchid note in it totally ruins it for me. And I just cannot think of wearing this fragrance on myself. Like, I won't say that they are exactly same, but I would like to say that Frosted Coconut Snowball is more of a lighter version of this without the orchid note. So that orchid, which has been replaced by this winter freesia is very beautiful and I just feel that this to me smells like a fresh coconutty morning with a slight hint of beautiful vanilla to it which is adding a slight bit of sweetness but not too much. I would very genuinely say this to you guys that give it 10 to 15 minutes or maybe like 30 minutes on the skin if you plan to put it on your skin. And later on, after those 30 minutes, it will turn into the most soft, cold, vanillic coconut fragrance on your skin for sure. So I really am liking this and I'm really definitely going to use it. But this is more like an all-weather fragrance for me. I cannot associate it just with winter season. This is definitely a fragrance which can be worn all year round because of that cold coconut note to it. And if you have had your eyes on this and you too cannot get along with the syntheticness of Sol de Janeiro, or price feels ridiculous to you. I'm not saying they are exactly same. They're not. This is more like a lighter version of this with the change of the floral note. This is something you might be interested in, but you don't want to put that much of money into it. 
then do look into frosted coconut snowball this time and this coconut fragrance did not turn out synthetic on my skin and that is why i'm also another reason that i'm so happy that i got this i can say either a winter morning just trying to smell fresh in something or a summer all day fragrance where i would like to smell like one lick coconut there is a hell lot of similarity in the freesia note that is in frosted coconut snowball and gingham so if you like gingham you will definitely like this coconutty take on the original gingham and with that i would like to close down the discussion on frosted coconut snowball and would quickly like to talk about a few things from the semi annual sale i always tell you guys like i would again like to repeat myself that get your body care in the 749 or the body care day sale there is absolutely no doubt about it your core lines you, your new launches everything goes on 749 sale or 799 price point but now what has happened is that i can see there are very less things that are in the price point of 600 or 630 or 650 rupees which is kind of disappointing some of you have been saying that you have grabbed pastel skies i do not see the body mist in it i can only see a a body wash i think and a body lotion in it which is in the price point of 630 rupees the price point is great but that would be the most recommended fragrance for from me this year for sure gingham original body mist is on the 600 price range you it will not get any lower than this don't get your hopes up so if you want gingham for summers get it now but again i would like to repeat If you have missed out on the 749 sale and you have missed out on the body care sale or 799 sale and you have your eyes on the holiday collection which is winter candy apple vanilla bean noel twisted peppermint ice plum sugar bright christmas morning and what else is there oh god i'm forgetting the names um frosted coconut snowballs so the entire holiday range which was just launched in the november if you want to get your hands on that get it now it will not come back until the next sas or next year for sure like the holiday collection will quickly disappear when the semi annual sale ends so if you have missed out on the 799 price range or body care day this is your time to stock up on it because you have no other option if you want to buy those fragrances the only sad part is the holiday collection and some of the few launches or the new launches are all above 1000 rupees so yeah you will have to keep that in mind but if you don't get the holiday collection now you will lose out your chance on stocking up on that or getting it in your collection now some of the things have been brought back on the website i can see forever red beautiful day starlit night cosmic line fiji sunshine guava tinny so all these things are back on the website but the thing is none of the fragrances that i just mentioned i'm not too interested in them i would not highly recommend them somebody was asking if they should pick up prismatic stars or golden eclipse i would say if you want a smoother berry fragrance go for golden eclipse if you want a fizzy berry fragrance go for prismatic stars i leave the decision to you because i really cannot make a decision for you whether you like fizzy or whether you like a like a glittery and soft kind of berry fragrance so i leave that decision to you for me personally i think i would pick golden eclipse just to make it clear to you that in my personal opinion i would pick golden eclipse i was so disappointed i was really looking forward to pick up some scrubs this time i was expecting for the pumpkin peak and something you know to come back in stock in the scrub a range but the scrubs are not that much on the sale i mean i remember so, till the last sas we had scrubs in the price range of 600 rupees but this time everything like all the scrubs hardly one scrub was there in the 600 rupees price range and i think that was your the one and all the other scrubs are above 1000 or 1200 rupees it's not making sense to me earlier the higher price on scrubs used to be 899 rupees in sas but this time how can we even call it an sas when most of the things are just on 40% off how can we 
like literally there are just one or two things that are on 70% off there are two things i would highly highly recommend you to pick up this semi annual sale i am amazed with the prices of three wick candles most of them are starting from the price range of 740 rupees or 780 rupees i think if i'm not wrong uh, and going up to 900 rupees most of them most of them guys so three wick candles uh, is this is your time to buy them they are on the lowest prices and the great thing is that even the go more ones are on the lowest prices right now next thing that i would uh, suggest you to pick up if you are a fan of hand creams from bath and body works this is your time all the creams are starting from 299 rupees and going up to the price of 359 rupees great price range this semi annual sale for hand creams we only used to get these prices for hand creams for one or two uh, hand creams but this time hand creams and candles have been on a huge discount so grab those i don't know what happened with aroma therapy aroma therapy does not even feel like it's on sale some of the things are on sa sale and then the new launches in aroma therapy have disappeared from the website i might visit the store this weekend so i might film a little bit and i will show you something in some future video or something and i don't know how i'm going to put that so um or maybe a short video so i can show you what stock is there in the store but aroma therapy has been very disappointing this time and not much was on sale so these are my thoughts for the first week of semi annual sale you never know what bath and body works brings in later on and you can never speculate things about them they have their own things going on in their head and uh, they might bring in some stock as well and you never know you just need to keep an eye on the sale every single day so whatever section you're interested in scroll through it see what's adding what's getting out what's coming in so if there's something that you want you buy it then and there because sometimes things just come out for just a day or two so yeah that would be my suggestion for this semi annual sale not super excited not picking up anything yet because i'm not a hand cream person anymore from bath and body works my hands turned dry i have stopped using the body care because especially after dengue my skin got very sensitive and that high fragrance quotient of these uh, body creams and body lotions irritates my skin in the longer run so i stick to my nivea body lotions because they are good in hydration and they give me what i want from a body lotion on the other hand only buy body care from bath and body works if your priority is fragrance for a particular day because their body creams can really last very very long on the skin and they definitely give a very potent fragrance of that even if the body mist is not potent the body cream is going to especially the ultimate hydration creams they smell very good and for a very long time on your skin so yeah if a date is something that is there in your mind or going for an event and something special that you have in your mind and you want to own a good smelling body cream for yourself do stock up on them and uh, layer them on top of your regular body lotion give your skin hydration first and then layer the fragrance just use them from the fragrance layering point of view and not hydration point of view at all my hands had got into a very bad condition um, they turned dark they turned rough and you know it just they looked so bad that i cannot tell you you can go back in my videos and see how my hands were looking so yeah i that's why i'm not really gravitating towards the hand creams or anything such i would rather carry my regular body lotion in my bag for hydrating my hands on the go so yeah those are my thoughts on a uh, semi annual sale from bath and body works i hope this video has somehow helped you in making your decision i will see you guys in the next one till then keep looking beautiful keep smelling good don't forget to subscribe 70% of you are still not subscribed to the channel have a great day all bye bye Mwah.